Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It is Tuesday, I think. Tuesday, July 2nd, 2019, 6.27 p.m. And uh, we are taking a look at massive Hurricane Barbara. This thing has erupted, guys. This is a uh, very big hurricane. We are already Category 4 status, as you can see right here. 130 mile per hour winds. They did post this in a few articles and I'm going to show you. They are actually expecting this thing to hit category 5 status if it does not cross that 20% parallel threshold that we always talk about when it comes to places like Hawaii and, and staying in warm water. But right now, this thing is blowing up and it's blowing up quick and it's uh, it's a pretty big deal. So if this thing stays uh, east to west on the pattern it's on right now, which some of the spaghetti plots show it veering off to the north, is that's what we want. But some of them are showing this thing getting dangerously close to Hawaii. And if this thing's going to pack a punch of a category 4, 5, or even a 3, we have some issues to deal with. But you can see with your own eyes right there, Hurricane Barbara is officially a Category 4 hurricane out of the Pacific Ocean. First major hurricane of the 2019 season when it comes to the Pacific. We have not had a major one in the Atlantic yet. And I stress yet because they are coming. Trust me. Um, and it's going to be rapid fire, so I hope you guys are prepared. Uh, with that said, we're going to continue on this video and uh, dissect some of this going on here, guys. Thank you so much. Quick overview right here, guys. As you can see, once we hit that 130 MPH, uh, it is considered a Category 4. And since it's already there, uh, the articles I'm reading about this thing becoming a Category 5 before then possibly lifting up above Hawaii. Hopefully that's what happens. But this could be our first major Category 5 hurricane, whether that be the Pacific or the Atlantic. Still very exciting stuff. So we're going to check out some articles here. We're going to see exactly what they said and what we are going to expect. So this article is out of AccuWeather. It says right now, Barbara explodes from a tropical storm to major category four within 24 hours, guys. That is the same kind of concept we use when we talk about bombogenesis. It's the amount of barometric pressure that drops within a period of time. If you drop 24 millibars in a 24 period of time, that's considered rapid intensification. That's in, that's considered a bombogenesis effect that we saw in the United States. That's how that kind of works. And we saw a reading as low as 941 with this storm, and that was within the last 30 minutes. So there is very, very much... Um, leading to the point where we could see a Category 5. And right here, black and white, you could see soon after becoming the Eastern Pacific's first major hurricane, Category 3 or higher, which is what determines a major category uh, hurricane, Barbara reached Category 4 status on Tuesday, which is today, and is forecasted to become a Category 5 with a maximum sustained winds of at least 157 miles per hour. That is insane. Um, it is that time of year for the Pacific to have categories of this size. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is Hawaii, and they are worried about Hawaii too. I'm going to try to skip over a little bit of the pictures just to avoid the you-know-what. But uh, this is what AccuWeather had to say. Same thing. This water vapor loop shows Hurricane Barbara after the storm rapidly intensified from a tropical storm yesterday to a category form storm this morning. Find out where it's going, but we're going to do that ourselves. So, uh, essentially, Tropical Storm Alvin, which was late to form as the first storm of the season. So, again, Alvin, the first Pacific storm, was a late storm. So, it actually took a while into the season before we started seeing these hurricanes. And now you got to transfer, transfer that thought over to the Atlantic season as we are about uh, a solid month into the season and we have not seen one yet. Uh, besides the uh, the uh, tropical invest that we dealt with with our first letter A. So, with that said, we got to understand that this could possibly transfer over to the Atlantic Ocean, and we might be seeing something closer to 2017 than we saw last year where we had, you know, our normal hurricanes here and there. We had a couple to watch, but 2017 was one of those years where um, it was uh, all hands on deck, uh, nonstop researching all this stuff. So, um, to for, for the news to predict that there's going to be a Category 5, 
Uh, right now, we're looking at Tuesday, 5 p.m., which is just about an hour and a half ago for me. We are officially Category 4. They're expecting by Wednesday, 5 a.m., which would be tomorrow morning, that this thing is going to be a Category 5. And that's all because of the latitude lines it's on and the closer it is to the warm water belt of the um, either the Tropic of Cancer or the equator. The Tropic of Cancer is a little bit above the equator. Um, the equator is a little bit low. But as you see this thing rise up, above you notice it does get weaker because any time it rises above that 20 percent parallel line the water is just cooler and it's not sustainable for hurricanes that's why a lot of the threats last year we saw were hurricanes that came this way for a long period of time before hooking north that's what scared hawaii a lot because the longer that they are under hawaii the longer they're in warm water the longer time they have to expand and 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 become bigger storms just like our situation over with the uh, west coast of Africa and that long uh, strip of warm water, the warm water belt we call it, that leads all the way to the Leeward Islands. Basically the same thing here, except a lot more than not, we see these hurricanes come up in this direction and then dissipate. But we are beginning to see the, the same exact patterns we saw last year with a lot of these hurricanes heading right towards Hawaii. So let's hope not. Let's hope that this thing dissipates before it gets anything close or at least does minor, uh, the most minor of damage or most minor of effect on the on the big island of Hawaii, which is where it would hit first um, if this does stay true. So um, with that said, let's move on. Taking a quick look at Tropical Tidbits, we can see just how quickly this thing exploded. Uh, I can back up as far as uh, basically today. So you're seeing the 954 pressure. Um, it wasn't quite at a Category 4 at this time. But you're going to see as I move forward, you always want to pay attention to this number, the, bar the barometric barometric pressure number. The lower that gets, the, the stronger the storm is. Not to mention the fact that this storm is huge to begin with. So um, anyone with any experience on these charts, you look at this and you're like, okay, that is a fairly strong hurricane. Now let's dive in and find out exactly how strong it is. Now when you get to that 942 mark, that's a little bit scary. That's what led me to believe and understand why this is now a Category 4 storm. If that drops below anything below uh, 942 or anything like that, you will certainly see that Category 5 potential pop up. But what we're looking at here is you can see it kind of rises up a little bit. It gets right to that 20 degree north mark I just mentioned. Any storm that stays between the 10 and 20 is a threat to Hawaii. Once we cross that threshold of 20 degrees, but that's what the funny part is right there, guys. Look at that. It gets to the 20 degrees north, but then it dips back down, which is just a pain because you can't really get a good look at Hawaii with this specific chart. I could pull up another chart and check it out, but uh, we don't want to go too far ahead of ourselves as this would be the seventh right here. But if things change and this thing stays along this path, guys, we could be witnessing one of the bigger hurricanes of the year. That includes Pacific and Atlantic, and we haven't even seen an Atlantic hurricane yet. So uh, with that said, next. And while I got you here, last but not least, I want to take a look at the satellite version uh, way up above uh, Hurricane Barbara right now and just check out some of this detail, guys. You can see straight down into the ocean with this eye wall. Um, it is, over time, um, actually compacting itself. It's getting stronger. And remember what we talked about, guys. We're at 12 north right now, 14 north, 16. It would be 18 and then 20. We can get an idea of where this thing's heading. The pattern wants to head this way, but until it reaches that 20% mark, uh, all... Um, bets are off. If this thing continues the way it is, we are going to be seeing a very strong storm heading towards our friends in Hawaii, just like we saw last year. But I wanted to take this opportunity to show you a really good satellite view of a very uh, potentially dangerous and very good-looking hurricane. And by good-looking, I don't mean that I wish harm upon people. I mean that as a amateur meteorologist who is very interested in this type of stuff and the way it works. But that last frame right there, in fact, let me see if I can pause it there. There we go. Perfect. Just look at how beautiful that eye wall is. Like, that is a perfect eye wall right there. 
You could see the bottom of the ocean. What that is right there is the ocean. You could see the cloud tops around it. And within a 50 mile radius around this entire circle is the strongest of winds. That's where you're going to find your 130s and maybe even some gusts that are higher. And uh, once we get our recon planes back out there again, if they can get there, um, a lot of times we have to rely on buoy data and other stuff because the storms are just so far away. Um, when it gets to a point in between Hawaii and the U.S. that it's hard to get the planes out there. But um, I would not be surprised to see this thing hit Category 5. If it doesn't, um, it's already reached Category 3 and 4 status. So um, uh, with that said, I think that's all I got for you for now. We got some nice bands coming off of it. Very healthy looking storm. Now all we got to do is just watch the angle and see how quickly it approaches the cooler water. Uh, that's what we want, guys. Don't get me wrong. We want this thing to get into cooler water. We want it to die down, whether it's going to go towards Hawaii or not. Uh, we do have a lot of stuff coming up after it, so we're going to start working on that. But I uh, just wanted to get this guy, uh, this uh, guy, it's actually named Barbara, this girl, out to you. And um, we're going to continue to follow it as it uh, progresses. So right now we are dealing with... Um, an extreme explosion of energy within this storm. And uh, with that said, we're going to come back as soon as we know more, guys. So thank you very much for paying attention. Any questions, uh, concerns, comments, anything, please leave below. Let us know what's going on. You can email us at intothinairnews at gmail.com. If you want any of your uh, material, pictures, anything played on our channel, we will gladly do so. We will credit you. Um, or you could PM us on Instagram and or Twitter. Um, all that information is in the info boxes. All right, guys. Uh, be safe out there. I'm going to do a uh, weather update, and we are more than likely doing a live stream uh, within the next hour and a half. So I'm going to put a, uh, a warning out there now and let everyone know, and we'll go from there. All right, guys. Have a great evening, lunch, dinner, wherever we may be, and we'll talk soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.